Hey, hey, it's Mary Kavandens and today we're looking at what I eat now, exactly one week ago and um, we'll just start. So you see this uh, granola, full sugar, um, a full oil, chocolate granola from this brand. I am not sponsored of like by anyone and anything this and this whole milk it was just some milk that was on offer and uh, we just got it I just have to get the things that I loved before my eating disorder and without any judgment and just make it happen and so I also have there a pretzel and a bun and an orange and so how I go about my breakfasts now is I just load up my plates and bowls with whatever I fancy. I just try to shut my brain off and I just get and I just pour and also of course, of course, without any uh, kind of scale. It took a long time for me to get rid of the scale, especially when it comes to granola and uh, cereals. Or grains because they are so hard to measure with the eye right and and it, like that was a big 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 fear of mine it took a long time you will also see that throughout the year of what I eat or what I ate a year ago that I do simultaneously to these ones and it, it, you know I just pour it in whatever I grab it I pour it in I take it from the fridge I put it on and like I just gather whatever I feel like whatever I want to eat and then um, it doesn't even matter if it's too much or too little or whatever I will just adapt as I'm eating and what I still what, like what what else I fancy or what more I fancy and so it doesn't even matter the amount uh, it will it will just I will just eat what I eat until my physical and mental hunger are fully satisfied and gone until I'm hungry again mentally and or physically uh, no also if it's only mentally then that is reason enough for me to eat and so i can always eat later or i can that's also something that i always told my eating disorder if if it said to me well this is too much i will just say you know i well even if it is too much first it is not you who decides that it is me and my mental hunger and second i can always eat later and i can all i like I can always finish it later and um, then it is my task to really examine and uh, like to really not bullshit myself and not let the eating disorder decide when I'm when I'm um, satisfied or not you know uh, I will finish everything if I mentally want so so this was the granola and so this is all of the other things that we had on the breakfast table. There's Nutella on there, anything I thought I would be up for. There's some butter, some soy yogurt, some cucumber, some tomato. And we have the coffee here, a decaf that David had made. And there's more bread and there's peanut butter. Then I felt like yeah, the bacon and there is butter there because a pretzel is double as delicious when you have butter on there and no margarine does not do the job in my humble opinion. Um, so it's a little bit dark. You see the cucumber and the tomatoes there. That's with a flash for you guys. Thumbs up for the flash. Yeah. More photos. So there's some Miracle Whip I also added. And I put full fat milk into this one. Into the granola. And it's so yummy. And some soy yogurt. And I take the soy yogurt for this one because we had it open anyway. And it wouldn't make sense to open a new one. Well, if I had to, if I knew, well, it has to be done in order to, for me to challenge the fear, then I will do that. But I have so many things opened simultaneously that also I just like the taste of the soy yogurt. And 
I'm at a point right now where there's not much of a difference anymore in terms of fear um, between soy yogurt and dairy yogurt uh, even full fat dairy yogurt because like the calories are pretty much the same and it's also the fat content actually and yeah I just go with what is open here if you have to open something then you have to open that one that's all I will say also um, so this was a yogurt a little bit later yeah super yummy it's almonds I think is it roasted or toasted almonds in English I don't know exactly it's a full fat cream yogurt very delicious what's that oh yeah <laughs> it looked like durian actually this is potato and um, tzatziki and Brussels sprouts and there's a little bit of sausage and a little bit of köfte which is uh, some wheat kind of uh, oh and there's also some butter on the side makes the butter and uh, makes the potato even more glorious and um, I also love potatoes just by itself but this makes it even like this just hit the spot it's so satisfying the whole combination of this all Did I add any more? Nope, just spices. And there's some tahini here as well. I use tahini on everything. Then later, yeah, <laughs> I, I pulled it away too early again. It's Twix, some Twix. Who doesn't love Twix? It used to be my favorite candy bar um, before my eating disorder. And I got a whole, I think, 11 Twix thing that was on discount. <laughs> just because I had to. It just freaked the heck out of my eating disorder and so I did it. Bad photos. That's the Twix bar. And I ate them. I, I ate both, both of them. When the eating disorder says, well, just try one first, I will just eat everything at once. Um, I don't know, I hate all of these. I am so glad when I come to the point in my life where all of these creepy whispers in my head are just gone. And it will happen. I am convinced for the first time in my life, I'm convinced that that will happen because I'm rewiring stuff and a shit ton of stuff that like I, I feel it in my brain and then I had some vanilla kipfer I actually took three of those um, like for the train when I came back from my family's place um, but we weren't allowed to eat in the train so they were still left and I enjoyed them so yummy And then later I felt like some chocolate and I felt like half of the chocolate and you know that's what I'm going with also I think it was open already the dime one and so I just took that one super yummy oh and this <laughs> this is actually from I can recommend this account on Instagram. It's Hat Did Beat This. Highly recommend. All food is good food, yes. And so this was dinner. Again, pretty much what I had for lunch because it was so satisfying. With ketchup and you can see a beef patty there that I also had from, um, from home that I wanted to eat on the train but didn't happen but so I, I put this on the plate because I thought it sounded good like a meatball or something with a potato but it turned out that I took it away again and it's not because I ate it but because I just found out like I took a bite and it just didn't the taste didn't agree with the potato and I froze it and saved it for the next burger and so I, I added some sausage, also some part of a sausage, 
and it's because I don't feel like the whole sausage but like some and there's some cheese there as well and I just kind of gather everything together that I feel like so that's it for that day uh, thumbs up thumbs down you know the game uh, just let me know what you think and I see you in the next video bye